Hey, what's up, y'all? It is Tony. This is Johnny. And this is Marriage in Real Life. Life. So today we're talking about what we're we talking about, Johnny. We're getting good at that opening, ain't we? We're gonna be really good. We're gonna have some moves. So we're gonna talk about the, the, the sacrifices of success, um, literally in business, but the sacrifices of the marriage. And right. um, this is a funny conversation coming from us. Why? Because in the beginning, we had nothing. nothing. Well, she had something. I had nothing. <laughs> we hadn't built anything together. Correct. Should have said we he had we, built some we, stuff. I had built. We stuff. hadn't built anything together. No, truly, I hadn't really built anything. I had accumulated some some qualities. You had accumulated some qualities. You had some real estate. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you had, yeah you had you had a few things. It's funny. It's job. funny to talk about it now. Yeah, did have a did have a pretty decent job. Anyway, um, yeah, there's a lot of um, you know, last week we talked about or week before last we talked about comparisons. Yeah. And how you can't compare stuff. And so I'm always I always feel like I have to put out a disclaimer. Johnny and I have, are coming up on 18 years being married in May. I guess that's still a while away, but that's crazy, right? Yeah. So we've been married almost 18 years now. <clears throat> and so Sometimes we can be guilty, not us, but people in general, we did it, can be guilty of comparing um, oranges to apples. What they think they see. What they think they see. And mm. not really cognizant or aware of the yeah. sacrifice that each person has had to put in to get to this place, right? People, you know, it's not unheard. I mean, you know, people want ready-made, right? That's, that's not abnormal. A lot of people don't like fixer-upper houses. No. I want to so go in ready. So a fixer upper uh, dude or, or or you know a wife may not necessarily come off the right way on the front end, specifically if you don't realize you have a fixer upper. Oof. Let me define success. Freedom and control of your time with the money, health, and spiritual health to enjoy it. Right. Freedom and control of your time with the money, health, uh, spiritual health. To enjoy, so, so that's 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 all success is. So don't get grandiose or whatever, but because it can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. But that if if it falls in those categories, like oh, I can do what I want to do when I want to do it. I got a decent house and I'm healthy enough to enjoy the things that I work for, even if it's not a big Beverly Hills mansion. Yeah, it, if it makes you happy, that's I mean. That's so we so we had to get clear on that on the front end. On what we wanted and what we were working toward, and I think the first thing that probably um, we sacrificed the most was time with e with each other. Would you agree with that? Yeah, like yeah, one hundred percent agree. And it was, I, I, I think Johnny, I don't know, because I, I was used to being. I don't want to say used to being away since I, since my job was what it was at the time, or my career that I. Bill, before we got married, was what it was. I understood time away, I think, better than the average person. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if we've. I don't know if we ever talked about the why, but I always felt like you gave me a long rope. Yeah, I feel. I mean, yeah, it didn't. I mean, like I wanted. It's you not to, as long anymore. <laughs> now you got the short because jokers, you give joke an inch, they take a <laughs> whole mile, not a regular mile, country mile, right? So. But definitely, you gave me a lot of space. On the front end, and I was always very appreciative of that. And people, people didn't understand that. I don't think at first. Yeah, it's like, girl, you. I mean, and I just, I was like, well, he said, and it wasn't always. You know, we don't want to give this impression. We're like, you know, he's out there building. It's a lot of down days. You got up days. It's days where you're extremely frustrated. It's days where you're gonna fuss about it. It's days where you're gonna lose sight of the conversations and the vision that you. you know what I mean, because it never looks like um, what it looks like. My cousin, who's a chef. Was talking about the process. The work never looks like what you think it looked like. You know, in your head, it's real grimy. It's a lot of sacrifice. It's, you know, so you're feeling like it's gonna be one way, and it's and it's, it's not. Else. It's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not. And I think, but I guess to kind of summarize it on time, right? I, I think, I think we did a great job on that. It was. It wasn't always peaches and cream. Mm -mm. I definitely got fussed at a little bit along the way. Dude. Because what happens is specifically when you're building, you you for me it was the uh, fear of missing out, so I always made sure I was in the place, and um, you know I had to, I had to borderline you know come to grips and I went to wise counsel <laughs> on on 
on why you don't have to be at everything or why you don't have to be accessible for everything I should say and um and that was great. So you taught me you taught me something. I've never thought about that. That is FOMO. You did have FOMO. Which it sounds okay, so if it's like FOMO scares you're gonna miss out on a party. But Johnny was of the mindset, and it's a, it's not a bad mindset, just in a marriage it could be cumbersome. Is it the right word? Where it could be yeah. like, oh God. He was he was of the mindset that if I'm the if a, you know, especially early on, if a crumb of business drop, I'ma slide in and catch it. That was that was and and I, honestly, I can we can probably attribute some of the success of your business and you know um, to that. Just being in the right place at the right time. Yeah. You know, being in the right place at the right, you know, at the right time. I think I think I think at the time it probably would be the most important thing. Um, well, the kind of transition, I guess. I guess one of the more more important things that we had to do in order to kind of just help one another was was learn how to have you know, difficult conversations because that was always kind of a, that was always a challenge early on. I never wanted to tell Tony anything that's going to hurt her feelings. But, but and everything he, hurt her feelings in the beginning. <laughs> I was homesick and bald headed. You remember we talked about that? Like, it was stressful. So, but it didn't, it was just, it was a lot going on. I was completely in a different space. However, um, it, it was one of those things um, where um, we had to have some difficult conversations. But I'll say this, one of the things that I want people to know is you're going in waves in your own house, right? And sometimes you're looking out there and it can make you feel bad because everybody is going in waves at different times. So when you in your broke phase, somebody else is like killing and you just like... Or, or they just never have a broke phase. Right. Or at least it feels like it. You yeah. just don't know when... You know what I mean? So don't... Again, that kind of goes back to not making comparisons because we had... You know, our group, we have a, 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 our group of friends are very successful, right? A lot of them are in the corporate space. Some of them, are, a lot of them are business owners, but you know, everybody goes and waves. So I'll just say that as a little side tip, don't compare nothing at your house that other people have going, you know, as it pertains to money. Cause again, you just don't know. Yeah, it's tough. You just tough. don't know. So yeah, honest conversations about finances is, is, is the key. Like specifically in your marriage, you, you gotta, you gotta, you just have to get really good at being on the same page. What about you? You mentioned something about vacations and stuff, and yeah, in the front end, we didn't take a lot of vacations. We did not. We, we didn't. We didn't do the stuff, and there was a lot of people doing vacationing big and doing the stuff. And doing the stuff. And uh, and we didn't. And you know what? I remember uh, my beautiful bride getting a little frustrated at one point. Because, you know, we had some money, and we still wasn't doing it. Yeah, we still, yeah, we, we had some money for a while and, and still wasn't doing it. I was like, oh, but it's, it's, just, it's just, from a business owner perspective, you, you know, you get used to the feast and famine. So it's like, just because you got it today, you know, don't mean you're going to have it tomorrow. And then, you know what, when you, when you start making a little, little dough, you have, to, you have to build your relationship with Uncle Sam. Oh, you sure do. See, I didn't. I didn't necessarily understand kind of how that worked. No, oh, you should have been old, it. Oh yeah, yeah, I should have. Uh, yeah. My old uncle. Matter of fact, my uncle. It was a package deal. <laughs> <laughs> like, listen, when you when you make, cause it don't take but one missed write off or one, and you like, oh no, we got a whole mess, right? So there's. You know, there's a learning curve. Pay them yeah, people. Yeah, you have plenty left over. Yeah, pay it. Give them all this money. Get them out your life. Because it's like, you rather just be flat broke with nobody standing over you, to me, than... Well, I'm the opposite of that. I don't want to be broke. I just... Okay. I mean, not broke, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I, if I got a bill, if I got $200 in the bank and I got a bill that's 175 let's take that thing on down to $25. I'll figure it out. Because I just don't want you standing up. Like, yeah, you, you got to you gotta take care of that. So, yeah. So, so we, we did some good things in the beginning... Uh, from a, we never got into debt. No, you know. I don't so, know this, but I feel like it may be a little easier on the on the finance spectrum when both people work traditional jobs is more predictable, right? Maybe yeah. to a degree you think. Um, so, but being in a entrepreneurial, how do you say that? Entrepreneur space. Um, I feel like it's a little different. All I've ever been is self-employed, really, with the exception of a couple little um, small jobs. But that's been that's been great for us, though, because 
I've been able to run hard and then you just hold it down. Hold it down. Mm, the him up like, OP, OP. <laughs> hold it down. Yeah, no, it has been, but there's been a lot of um, sacrifices. Yeah. I don't want to make it like I'm just, I'm the only person that sacrifices, but there's been a lot of sacrifices made um, for us to get to one of the levels that we want to go to um, as a family. So I was listening to some, I can't remember what it was, but this guy was talking about going into today, like women, women, lots of times, no, you know, I don't want no ready made. I don't want to build on that, especially when you're grown. Like we got married young, but when you 30, 35, 40, it's like, okay, enough with the build the bear. You know what I'm saying? Like we want, you know what I mean? Something ready made. <laughs> man, shout out to the 30 and 40 year olds. There's a lot of hate out here on y'all. Just, yeah. just drifting around. I'm saying a lot of times we want to go into something that's already made. But when you're dealing with a regular guy that's building a business already made where he already got the things and the stuff and can take you on the vacations, that means he out working. That means that he don't have a lot of time to spend with you at this level, right? Unless you go get somebody in the NBA or they make money in piles like in the music business. But there's only so many rappers and NBA players to go around. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like at some point, the regular dudes whatever that means, got to, you know what I mean? People with regular jobs and you can build. Cause Johnny had a regular job when I met him. When he had it, he was an entrepreneur still, even though, you know what I mean? Like. It was just a regular job. It was just a regular job. So here, so, so here are the takeaways. In a marriage on the way to success, when you're building, you're going to have to sacrifice some time with one another. You're going to, you're going to basically, you know, have to truly understand that you're going to miss some vacations and you may not have the stuff initially. You may even pick up some debt. If you pick up some debt, just learn how to work it out amongst, you know, one another. And then know your roles, lastly, you know. Know your roles. If, if, if I'm gonna go out and slay dragons, you know, make sure that the dragon's den is, 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 is a home to come to. And uh, if she's gonna go out and slay dragons, I need to make sure that the, uh, you know, that the home is, is good when she gets home. So just know your roles and, and play them well. And, uh, and stay encouraged and stay in the game. Stay in the game. So that's it. That's what we got for y'all this week. We'll be on Instagram and Facebook um, this coming Sunday, as we always are when we debut the um, episode. And we'll talk a little bit more. If you got questions, have them things ready, because we'll be ready. <laughs> All right. Bye. Have a good day.